hundreds of emails, tons of Slack messages to reply to, to-do-is tasks, piling up and checking the Notion workspace. It can be a lot to handle. This is where Akiflow comes in. Akiflow is a tool that can help you keep a universal inbox where you can bring all of your tasks from Notion, Gmail, Slack, to do and more. We're really impressed by this app in the way that it works with your other productivity apps and enhances your workflow. It also has some great time blocking features and works great with your Google Calendar. There are just too many features to list, but in this video, we wanted to cover what it is, how to get started with it, how we use it, and some of our favorite features. We'll also be talking about whether this tool is right for you. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you find this helpful. So first, let's talk about what is Akiflow. So Akiflow is an app where you can basically combine all of your tasks and to-dos from various sources and have a universal inbox. So you can put things from Notion, from Slack, Gmail and so on. And then you can check all of your tasks at one go and then place them into your calendars. So this is a really useful feature of Akiflow. You can also block your time for your tasks. So if you have a time block where you can focus on your tasks, you can start importing all of your tasks into that time block. With Akiflow, you can really make sure that everything is organized and you know exactly what you're doing at each time. So this is really useful, especially if you have multiple apps and multiple people you're working with and tasks coming from all sorts of locations. There's even availability sharing and all sorts of other options that you can use in Akiflow. So let's get started with setting up your Akiflow. So when you first open Akiflow, there will be a guide for you in the bottom corner that can help you out in how to start using it. So this is a view of my Akiflow at the moment. So as you can see, I have these time blocks here and sort of a schedule as well as tasks that I haven't exactly put into the categories yet. So the basic thing you need to know is that you can go to your inbox and here you can keep adding tasks. So let's say that I need to remember to buy eggs on the way home. Remember to buy eggs on the way home and I can type enter and easily I can just move these into my time block. So you can put it here while I have my morning free time. I can also just clear out some of the tasks I've imported through Slack, for example. So a customer just sent a question about our templates. So I'm just going to put this during the organized notebook time. So I can just put this here and, and also ask me if I can help take care of the messages coming into our social media. So I'm just going to place them in here as well. So as you can see, it's very organized. The task inbox is inbox zero, which means that you have no more tasks that you need to do. So now you might be wondering, how do you put a time block here? So let's say that I have another time slot between 7 to 8 a.m. I can just simply drag like this and then choose the slot option. And I could name this focused work. And I could set it as repeat during every weekday, for example. And I can even block it onto my calendar like this. So now if I click out, you'll see that focus work has entered here. And if I had some tasks like read a chapter of my book and I could just put it here, for example, if I wanted to do it during my focus work time. So in that sense, it's really intuitive to use Akiflow. And the other thing that you'll want to do when you set up your Akiflow is to go to your icon here into settings. And then you can set your Akiflow account. And the most important one is just to go to your integration. So here we've connected a bunch of things here. I have my own Slack connected. I have my Gmail. I have Notion connected. And there's all sorts of native integrations you can add. So you can add Todoist. You can add ClickUp. Basically, all of these you can add. And then there's also some connections using Zapier and IFTTT. So there's really a lot you can do with this. And we think it's really great that you can combine all of your apps into sort of a single app. So now if you look at today, we'll see my to-do list for the day. So everything that I've added to today gets shown here, which is really nice as well. And you can also check all of the ones that you should do here, the upcoming today that you haven't placed into your calendar. So let's say check and reply email I'll do during lunch. So in this way, you can just keep dragging it into your time blocks that you create. 
Another useful thing to use is by doing command K and then you can do go to grocery store today and it's already gonna come up with new tasks. So you can just hit enter and it's gonna show up in your today's to-do list. The other important feature with Akiflow that you should know to get started with it is that you can add labels. So these labels are there to categorize your to-dos. So as you can see already, these are personal and this is in the organized notebook label. And if you click these three dots here, you can actually just filter by label. So you can just simply do personal, organized notebook, work. So for example, if you wanted to filter by label, you can easily do that by clicking the three dots here and then doing filter by label. And let's say that we only want to see our personal task list, then you can see like this as well. And as you can see, we've also imported our to doist items here. So this is really nice as well. So next, we wanted to give you a brief overview on how I use Akiflow to manage all sorts of things from my personal work to the organized notebook to my personal tasks and basically how all of my apps work together into Akiflow. So if we go to to doist, you'll see all of my current inbox tasks and I can simply add a task here and it's going to end up in my Akiflow. So if I click add task and let's say that I need to remember, need to remember to call Anne about next week's schedule, I can just put it like this, add task. And now if I go back to Akiflow, it's going to show up in my inbox. So now you can see, need to remember to call Anne about next week's schedule. So I can just simply now schedule this. So let's say that I'm planning to do this tomorrow during my morning free time. And now I have that set. And one important note I'd like to mention is that you can also add labels to your time block. So as you can see right here, my morning free time, this is for personal. So like this, you can kind of color code your schedule. So here I've color coded work, personal and organized notebook. The next thing to show would be how it works in Slack. So as you can see, Anne has sent me some messages. So if I save it for later, you can see that it appears in Akiflow. And the other option is to go to the three dots on the right side and simply click create a task in Akiflow. So those are two options in order to get your tasks into Akiflow from Slack. So if you get a lot of Slack messages, this is also a super useful feature. And the next one I use a lot is also Google Calendar. So right now, if I go to calendar settings, you'll see that there's organized notebook calendar here and the team calendar and so on that I can show here. So if I just simply go to a month view, you can see that there's a lot of these blue schedules and those are all from the organized notebook calendar and it's just really nice to be able to see the google calendar also showing up in my akiflow schedule so that i can really see my time blocks but my also my real schedule in terms of things that are planned so for example we have the weekly review meeting here and we are planning to launch a new YouTube video on Friday. So all of these you can see. And also all the tasks that I've already put in, you can just click here and you can see them show up into this time block like this. And you can also pin this. So if I click here, it's gonna be pinned here. So whenever you're working on a time block, you can always just pin it so that you know exactly the tasks you're working on. And another favorite in terms of how Akiflow works is the way that it integrates with Gmail. So if I go to our email, here we have a customer email where they wanted to know how to get the formula of the template. So after they were inputting the data and organizing the book. So we can just do this and save it as a task simply by changing the label. So if I go to this label and I choose Akiflow, it's going to now send this email as a task inside Akiflow. So now we can see that we got the email here and we can just open it and easily see where it came from and so on. So this is really useful. You can now change it to check email. And then I could just simply place it when I have time to work on it. So let's say I'm gonna do it during my two hour time slot tomorrow. 
And then one of our favorite ways to connect Akiflow is through our Notion as well. So Notion is primarily used when I work on the organized notebook in terms of tasks. So we usually use Notion as our workspace since we like how you can add all sorts of things like pages and everything for our business. So if I go to the settings here to the integrations i can just simply click notion here so as an example we're just going to show you how to add a task uh, database to your akiflow so we just labeled our database task akiflow just so that you can um, see it more clearly so we have task akiflow and if we go here you can basically set things up like importing only pages assigned to me so you can do that. Then you can also select the assignee properties and so on. So if I just want to import everything, I could just do all pages. You can also import filters. And when it's done, you can check this status as well. So let's say the status is done. When it's done, undone status is, let's say, to do and you can select a schedule select deadline date or just save changes and start syncing so now we see all of the tasks that just came from notion all the way here so as you can see it's really intuitive and useful so if you just happen to add new tasks to notion they're just going to show up into akiflow automatically and then you can just decide okay when am i going to create the three new gumroad products for example i could just put them tomorrow and update new thumbs maybe that's going to be on friday and so on so you can just kind of delegate your tasks to different days and put them inside of all of these block chunks that you've set for your time blocking next we wanted to just talk about some of our favorite features so one of the best features here is these daily rituals so you can even set this up to send you notifications but let's say that you want to start the day you can just click daily planning and here you can see that yesterday I did these tasks and pending you have these tasks. So here you can start sort of planning a bit. Then you can review today. So today you have this many tasks here and this is your inbox. So you can choose to move your tasks from your inbox to today or you could choose to move your inbox to future dates through your calendar. So once you're done, you can press done. And then finally, when you end the day, you can simply click daily shutdown. And here you can review all the things that you did today. And then you can see all the tasks that are pending. And you can sort of choose how you allocate your tasks as well to the following days. And these tasks are going to be moved to tomorrow. So then next you can plan tomorrow. So every task you had is now in tomorrow. And again, you can sort of reorganize your schedule. So it's really nice that you can just simply check in in the morning and check in at night and everything is just planned for you. So this is really a time saver and we really like this a lot. The next feature we really like are the labels. So basically you can label your day and time blocks and your tasks based on these so for example this is my working label so everything going in here is my work everything going in this red box is my personal stuff and then everything here is for the organized notebook so if you want to just add a label you can simply click plus here and add a new label and let's say you wanted to make a new time chunk here so this is like your hobby or something then you could just simply drag choose slot and hobbies and you could just put a label here for hobbies for example and this one you could rename to hobbies and like this you can easily filter your inbox as well so that's really useful so right now i have hash hashtag personal filter going on which i set up through the three dots the next thing we really like is this snooze functionality. So sometimes you get tasks that you don't really know when you want to work on. So not all of us can be completely organized. So one of the best things you can do is either plan it or decide to snooze it for next week or even put it in a box for someday. So in this way, you don't ever lose all of your tasks, but 
you can keep them in one of these categories. You can also choose priorities, which is nice as well. And they show up in these really nice colors. So that's another feature we really like. The other thing we can highly recommend is the share availability feature. You can just drag. So let's say that I know that I have time here. I could just drag like this and send a meeting request through the share availability feature and what time slot it is. So this is also really useful. The other thing we like is all the keyboard shortcuts you can use with Akiflow. So there's quite a lot of keyboard shortcuts you can use and all you need to do is click this question mark and then simply go to shortcuts and here you can see a whole list of them. So by using it more and more, you can really save time if you know the correct keyboard shortcuts. And of course, there's also the command K where you can simply just type what's on your mind and most likely Akiflow will do it for you. And the other thing we like is that you can just click and pin time slots. So let's say that you're in this working time slot now and you're going to get all of your tasks done. You could just simply click this pin button and pin it here and start working on all your tasks. So this is highly recommended as well. So here are our final thoughts about Akiflow. We think that this is a really wonderful tool. The the way it works is super intuitive and the amount of apps you can connect with it is amazing. So if you're like us who really like productivity apps and just have too many of them, or maybe you work in many different clients, customers or companies, and you need to sort of have different modes of communication with everyone, then you can just centralize all of them into one inbox. And we really like that aspect as well as sort of the gamifiedness of trying to clear your inbox and the rituals for morning and night. So we really highly recommend this for people who just have so much information and productivity apps and messages coming in and have a hard time dealing with them. We hope that this was interesting for you all to explore a new tool. If you're interested in this, we'll link Akiflow in the description below, who is the sponsor of today's video. We highly recommend you all to check it out as it has been a game changer in our productivity as well. Have you all tried Akiflow? We'd love to hear about it and let us know if you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing in this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.